All right, welcome everybody. This video is going to cover how to find the sand trap fishing locations of the Eastern Sierra. Get a lot of questions about those and uh, this is going to solve it. Um, if you are one of those people that think that these are some kind of secret locations and you're upset by this video, I'm very sorry. These are not secrets. They are listed on the Department of Fish and Game website and uh, it's just the information is out there. So this is just to help the subscribers of this channel more easily find these locations so they can have a good little fishing trip with their families uh, or by themselves, whatever. Uh, anyway, let's get into it. So what are these sand trap locations? Well, to simplify it, the sand traps are exactly that. What you have is the aqueduct system that runs in the eastern sierra all the way down the owens valley and uh, here you can see the aqueduct system right here uh, runs right through lone pine on the north side of town and uh, what do you see right here so uh, let's zoom in this is the famous lone pine sand trap um, how do we find that how do we find these sand traps where are they um, there are a few lone pine sand traps actually the main one that most people will will you'll see videos is right here. Um, and we'll show you the other one I was just pointing at. Um, but these sand traps are basically the sand is collected. So you got a natural stream flow here, and then uh, this carries silt, which is like small sand particles that uh, would otherwise end up in the aqueduct system. So what happens is they uh, dig these trenches out. And it collects the sand the sand drops off and then the water pours into the aqueduct and that creates a small pool well they have decided that hey why not plant these spots with fish and give people an opportunity another spot to catch fish and it helps the local economy and that's what that is so you have various spots there's another one right here and even right here um, those are all entry points so to find these sand traps uh, besides just YouTube, uh, you know, watching people fish up there is to follow the aqueduct system. And uh, so you have various systems. Um, like, so here's another one right here. Let's zoom in. Some of these are pretty hard to get to, by the way. I should note uh, some of these things are extremely hard to get to. You got to travel like pretty tough dirt roads. Um just to get to them man. they are they are way out there and uh so that's that's part of it though that's part of the adventure so you can see here's another one right here um as as it is before it pours into um into the main channel there are some smaller ones like right here uh they put the double sand traps into these areas where the flow tends to be a little bit faster um than other creeks some of these creeks have really fast flow rates and they really need to slow that water down um here's a famous one this is the george's creek uh sand trap located right off of 395. this one can get really busy um in the early season and you can see it right here um very well known highly stocked in the early part of the season but as you can see there's the aqueduct creek comes in they slow the water down in the sand trap before it pours in and uh, that's how that works so there's a few examples now there are other examples uh, they actually have some sand traps that are uh, block key areas of the Owens River um, before those enter the Owens there's a few right here um, but they're pretty much these sand traps are located all throughout the Owens Valley there are that's why I say guys there's more than 50 of these um, so here's another one right here. This is probably one of the lesser visited uh, creeks right here. But as you can see, Shepherd Creek Sand Trap. Um, not a lot of people visit these. And uh, see, there it is. So blocks off, the creek flows in. You can see there were some, a couple of cars there fishing it. Uh, some of these, like I said, very hard to get to. You gotta drive pretty far out of the way. Um, and uh it's but it's part of the adventure man if you want to you want to fish these spots let's go up 
um, and check out in the Independence Creek sand trap. You can see it right now. Um, pretty because the, all the people that drive and make U-turns right there have made it easy to spot it. You can see it right there. That's the Independence Creek sand trap. Pretty, uh, pretty good spot. They stock this one quite often. So check that out. And then um, as you go north, um, you can see there's different versions of the aqueduct. There's the old systems and new systems. So just follow along this aqueduct system, guys. And uh, there are, by the way, there are bass and some brown trout in this aqueduct system. Um, but there's only a few spots here and there. So it's worth a cast or two um, when you're in the area. Uh, if you if you happen to have access, some of the spots are off limits, so be careful with that. Make sure you're fishing in areas where you're allowed to. Let's go up here just a little bit more, show you one more spot. Um, now we'll have to just zoom out. I don't want to drag you guys too far along this. We can I can chase stuff like this for hours on Google. Um, so here's another one, the Black Rock Springs area. They have actually have a trout hatchery right here, and um, they actually allow some fishing in this area. And um, you just got to kind of watch where you are, like I said, private property and such. But um, that's it. So basically, look for the aqueduct system and uh, just follow along as you um, see it. And look for those sand traps right before the, the natural streams enter. They, uh, they have them. I mean, they're all the way through Big Pine. I mean, there's even up here in Big Pine, there's, um, there's some in Bishop. Um, it's, it's pretty much everywhere, guys. But mainly, um, they're, the, the better ones are from Independence and South um, to Lone Pine in this area. This is where most of the sand traps are. But there are a couple uh, that are up here um, for different reasons. And to keep sand out of the riverbeds um, where they, they're strategically trying to prevent um, buildup of sand in their, in their irrigation systems. So that's it. So that's how you find them. I mean, like I said, there's, there's a lot of them. Shepherd's Creek, George's Creek, Lone Pine Creek, Big Pine Creek. I mean, all these Baker Creek, there's tons of them, guys. So, uh, but if you're, you know, if you still have some more questions about it and you want to know, let me know. Um, the only other tips I have is to fish these early. Go early in the season because late in the season, they tend to be fished out. And um, they just don't have water in some of them. Um, these creeks can dry up. On big water years, they'll flow all year and they'll stock it all year. You can go to the Department of Fish and Game website, data portal. So just type into your search. Um, like up here, you can see what I'm typing. Um, you know, go to Google. And then just type in uh, into the data portal um, right here. Go to DFG or DFWCA trout plants. And then go to their data portal uh, right here. And uh, you can see their fish planting schedule. And then uh, you can go into search by water name. Uh, this is the quick way. Just scroll down until you see Inyo. And then uh, just add Inyo County um, right here. Just leave it on all plants and then hit search. And then right here, this will give you the list of all the recent plants in the Owens Valley. And all these creek spots, Lone Pine Creek, George's Creek, Shepherd's Creek, Sam's Tuttle, all those have sand traps, guys. All of them have sand traps. So um, just got to find where it crosses the aqueduct, and that's where it's at. So that's it, guys. That's, that's my information. You can even map it on here. They, they, it's kind of slow to load, but that's how, that's how you find them, and uh, they're really good fishing spots. They're not secrets, um, but they are definitely – they can get pretty busy, uh, especially the Lone Pine Sand Trap can be very busy. Or I've been through there, and there's no one there, and there's full of fish. So don't be afraid to just drive on by and try it out and uh, see how you do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you uh, did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for many more videos like this. If you're looking for way more than this, 
go over to that Patreon page, throw $3 at the website, and then it gives you access to all the great information that I'm posting up weekly over there. So, and uh, we're doing a lot of fun things over there in the next uh, couple months. So anyway, that's it, guys. I'm out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.